Butch Louis Act. The Butch Louis Act is a bill in the United States Congress that would allow the United States Treasury to provide financial assistance to failing multi-employer pension plans. This assistance would come in the form of grants that would not need to be repaid to the Department of Treasury and would allow retirees to receive the entirety of their pension benefits. Purpose and Content Many multi-employer pension plans across the United States are on the verge of insolvency. According to the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, a multi-employer plan is a collectively bargained plan maintained by more than one employer, usually within the same or related industries, and a labor union. Industries included in multi-employer pension plans currently include trucking and transportation, retail, manufacturing, mining, and entertainment. While working in a union, employees barter compensation and benefits with their employer, often trading in raises or higher pay for a retirement plan. These plans started to fail for multiple reasons, including but not limited to industries going bankrupt and not following through with financial obligations, past surpluses causing fragile bursts of benefit withdrawals, failed stock market investments, government deregulation, and the 2008 economic crisis. Underfunded multi-employer pensions currently threaten the retirement plans of 1 minus 1.5 million workers across the United States. Multi-employer pension plans have their own arm of the federal government called the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, which was created to ensure pension benefits. However, these pension programs owe approximately $66 billion to retired workers and only have about $3 billion in revenue, giving the insurance fund until 2026 before it is drained completely. The current Butch Louis Act provides a bailout to fund multi-employer pension plans for 30 years. The bill restores pensions to their full amount and increases the national pension insurance cap. Finally, it requires regular reports to Congress on the status of these pension plans as a preventative measure against future collapse. In 2017, U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown named this piece of legislation after late Ohio and Estill Butch Louis. Louis was an Ohio native and Vietnam War veteran who was the former president of the Teamsters Local 100 Union in Cincinnati. Louis became an activist after the Multi-Employer Pension Reform Act of 2014 threatened massive cuts to pensions plans. He volunteered to organize and advocate on behalf of his fellow union workers and retirees working with public officials and the Pension Rights Center to enact counter-legislation to the 2014 benefit cuts. Louis passed away of a stroke in 2015 as a result of the stress of the pension crisis. Legislative History The Butch Louis Act was originally introduced in 2017 in the 115th Congress as S. 2147, where it died in committee. It was then introduced in 2019 in the 116th Congress as S. 2254, where it died. Both versions of this bill would have created a new division of the United States Treasury to solely deal with the multi-employer pension crisis. This new office, the Pension Rehabilitation Administration, would have given low-interest loans funded by taxes to multi-employer pensions in order to remain solvent. The bill was then introduced again in 2021 during the 117th Congress in its current form. It was renamed the Butch Louis Emergency Pension Plan Relief Act of 2021. This version of the bill was included as a part of the American Rescue Plan, Congress $1.9 trillion economic relief package in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The American Rescue Plan, including the Butch Louis Emergency Pension Plan Relief Act, passed the House on February 27, 2021, the Senate on March 6. 2021, and was signed into law by President Joe Biden on March 11, 2021. Public Response Support Many union chapters, such as the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, United Steelworkers, and International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers across the nation support the Butch Louis Act. In 2021, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce endorsed the Butch Louis Act. 
The bill has the support of nonprofits like the Pension Rights Center and ARP, along with the support of public officials like Senator Sherrod Brown OH, Rep. Tim Ryan OH, and Rep. Marcy Capture OH. Those in favor believe it is the government's duty to fund these pensions. They also remind the public that retirees are not looking for a handout with this bill, but rather the benefits that were negotiated and promised to them throughout their careers. Opposition Organizations like Citizens Against Government Waste and the National Taxpayers Union Foundation have opposed the bill in the past. The bill was also opposed by public officials such as Rep. Anthony Gonzalez OH, Senator Rob Portman OH, Senator Chuck Grassley IA, and Senator Lummer Alexander TN. A common criticism of the Butch Lewis Act is that the bailout bill does not address the structural issues that are causing the pensions to fail. Alternative solutions provided by the opposition include increasing retirement plan premiums and taxes. Equals equals references equals equals equals.